the past couple of months, I've definitely cut down on my spending, but I have had a lot of cool pickups that I haven't had to show you guys yet because I wasn't uploading. I definitely have not purchased as much as I normally do, and that's obviously because I'm in a transitional period of my life where I don't necessarily have that much income coming in as much as I used to, so I kind of have to limit it, but I do have some really sick ones that I've kind of accumulated over the past couple of months, starting from like Christmas break all the way till now. So let's show you guys these, very excited. And the video is gonna kind of be organized by tops and then bottoms, and then I have had a couple of footwear pickups, nothing too crazy, but a couple. Now, these first t-shirts get me really excited because I saw them and I wasn't able to purchase them at first, but they did a restock, a re-release of them, and I was able to get one, and they were doing a promotional offer to where if you buy one, you can get another one for free. So I had to. Um, we have this really sick t-shirt from Basket Case Gallery. Um, I'm still trying to figure out who this is on the front right here. It kind of looks like Michael Jackson to me, but I'm not too confident who it is, but I don't know, something about this shirt, I saw it, I loved how it looked, I just loved the graphic on it. The back is really cool as well. It just, it was super sick and something that I don't have in my closet because I don't really wear a lot of graphic t-shirts. But I saw these, thought they were super dope and thought, why not? Quality on them is very good. I mean, it's a t-shirt, you're, you're not getting anything too crazy, but it's not like it was printed on some Gildan t-shirt or anything like that. It's definitely heavy. It feels good. It's survived a couple of washes. It hasn't shrank up really any. Which was my biggest concern because I wasn't too sure how it was going to fit. But it does fit a little bit longer than what I'd like, but that's okay. You all need different silhouettes and proportions and outfits anyway, so that's fine. In addition to that, I also grabbed the additional t-shirt that was buy one get one, you know, another one. And it's this really sick t-shirt that just kind of has their logo on it and the star. I believe that they were modeling this after, I think it was Smashing Pumpkins or something like that, their tour merch. So this shirt right here kind of is taking inspiration from that. I really like the lettering on it. I really like the font that it does have. And the screen printing is really nice as well. It, it's it's cool. It's a really cool purchase to have because, I don't know, This I really like Basket Case Gallery. I really like the stuff they have and you know, something like this is attainable. Uh, it's pretty expensive for a t-shirt. I mean, one of these goes for like $60. So it's very expensive for a t-shirt, but it's not like it's made cheaply done anyways. Very well, very good t-shirts. I really like these two, but yeah. Just a little couple calm t-shirt pickups, nothing too crazy. And you know what, I almost forgot about this one. So, uh, Bass Case Gallery, they had a Black Friday restock sale. In addition to those t-shirts of which I really liked, there was a hoodie that I saw. And I remember when this hoodie first released, I wasn't able to get it, but I did tell myself that if I'm ever in a position to be able to purchase this hoodie, or if it restocks again, I'm gonna get it. And with them restocking the Black Friday things, it restocked, we have, this Beyblade Chargers alternate colorway hoodie. Man, oh man, this hoodie is sick. The graphic on it, like the fading, the sun fading on the yellow, it's not a really bright yellow, but it's also not like a pale yellow. It's very perfect in between. Um, what I can say, price point on this was very steep. And I know like it's $160 for a hoodie. Not everyone would be able to afford that. I know me, I had to afterpay all this, so I wasn't able to get it immediately, but I can say that quality of it, it is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, the inside has a very comfortable, nice little French terry inside. The fit on it, I will say, is that I got this in the extra large, I always size up in my hoodies, and this kinda doesn't really fit like a traditional extra large. It almost fits like a medium between a large and an extra large, so I'm kinda scared that it might shrink up on me, I really don't want it to because I really like it, but yeah, just a dope hoodie that I have <laughs> went ahead and purchased and I'm not mad about it at all. I have had a little bit of trouble styling because I think most of the time I want to facilitate to a lighter color pant, but with this hoodie, I think it really thrives if you have a darker, I think it really thrives if you have a darker pant on, like a jean, like a darker jean or a black pant or something. I think it looks really nice there, but you know, by all means, style it how you want to style it. Me, I just don't like it with light wash jeans, particularly. So that's it in terms of the tops. Like I said, I haven't really purchased a lot of things lately. I do have a couple of things that are coming in, so maybe you'll get a pickup video part two, but that's kind of all I have for now. I didn't get to this at first, but we do have a jacket that I got. And this wasn't a recent pickup. I maybe purchased this like three or four months ago. It's new to you guys. I've worn it a lot in a lot of videos. 
but it is this beautiful, beautiful midway leather jacket that is almost like a pilot jacket just by the way it zips up and it comes to the top. I absolutely love this jacket. When I first purchased it, there's a really cool shop that's in my local hometown. I'm forgetting the name right now, but they're almost like a selected vintage shop, if that makes sense. Um, they were selling this bad boy right here. It was on sale additionally, but I kind of already made my mind up that I wanted it. I'm so happy that I have this. When it first came, it actually had built-in shoulder pads right here on the shoulders. And I was not a fan of that. It kind of made everything look a little bulky. You know what I'm saying? So I did a little DIY surgery and removed those shoulder pads on the inside. And I can confidently say that I love it a lot more without the shoulder pads. This leather jacket, I've put so much wear into this thing and another leather jacket that I have as well. I just, just something about a brown leather jacket that I just can't get enough of. It looks so cool. It's just such an elegant look to me and it really does fit that aesthetic for what I like to go for with outfits is kind of mixing a little bit of bagginess but also keeping it with something that's a little bit more timeless and classy. Yeah, love this. Gets the seal of approval from Nathan. I have picked up two pairs of pants. One of the pants you have seen already in a previous video it was the K2 Heavy Denims. But another pair of pants I actually purchased a couple of months ago. It was a pre-order on them from this brand uh, Okio denim, Okio denim. Uh, these are their high-waisted, I believe they're high-waisted wide leg jeans with a pleat in them, which is something that is super sick because you don't always see a pleat in a pair of pants or a pleat in a pair of jeans, actually. Very nice branding on it. I believe that these were made in, yeah, made in Vietnam. Um, I was just randomly scrolling through Instagram one day and then I got an ad from them Pant looked cool. The price point was at $47 for a pre-order, so I said, hey, why not? I mean, it's $40. Although I was, I don't know why I was thinking it was going to kind of be like a salvage denim because it kind of looks like it. Um, it's not, and it's really not the heaviest denim either. It's pretty thin, but then again, I only paid like $50 total for it, so I can't really complain, but the fitment of them is something that's definitely unique. It is a little bit bigger, and it almost makes me wonder if I ordered the wrong size. I've seen people online styling these, and it kind of fits them a little bit better, but for me, I feel like it just looks a little bit more baggy than I'd want, so I might be taking these to the tailor to get altered, at least on the bottoms, but I mean, it really does get the job done. I really like pairing this with kind of a tight cropped silhouette on the top, something that kind of creates that illusion of you seeing the wideness of the pant and it doesn't just kind of bleed into each other. Very good purchase though. I'm not mad about these. I've worn these a lot. I really like the pocket detail on them. Interesting than what most pants have and it's a pretty deep pocket as well. I need to sell a couple, a lot of clothes so <laughs> that's probably what I'm gonna do before I purchase more things but yeah, that's this and the K2 Heavy Denims have been like the only pants I've picked up the past couple of months so I'm not mad about that. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, that's kind of it for the pickups. <laughs> I haven't got really anything crazy lately. Like I said, I'm in a transitional period of my life and you guys will probably see in two videos from now, maybe? Something cool is happening. So yeah, that's kind of been it. Excited for what comes next and I'm grateful for you guys, obviously. We're just gonna dress nice along the way and see how life goes after that.